Um, okay, we have four items uh, um, to dispatch this evening. Uh, uh, so f agenda item two, we have to review uh, draft resolutions first. Uh, review draft resolution 14192, which is approving our property tax report card for the city school district. We have uh, additional draft resolution 1493. That is the proposed 2014-2015 annual school budget and authorizing its submission to the voters at the annual school election and budget vote on May 20. Uh, resolution 14195, approving the 2014-2015 estimated administrative budget for Southern Westchester BOCES. And finally, resolution 14196, casting one vote for John DeSantis, who is our nominee uh, to serve as trustee on Southern Westchester BOCES board. Um, is there any discussion uh, about any of those resolutions uh, before we vote? Uh, yes, on the on the budget, I just want to mention it in advance that I will be voting against the budget, uh, not because of the of what the budget stands for. It's just the process. Um, I'm disappointed that we still haven't received. Uh, we had the budget forms. We spent time setting up those meetings, um, getting questions from the board members, getting questions from the community, and um, I have yet to see any responses to those questions. You know, in particular, I, I'll talk about the ones that I had asked for, which were what are the programs that were um, canceled over the past three years? What are the ones that we're going to be reinstating going forward? Uh, we're looking for a five-year budget. We don't have a five-year budget projection. We don't have that. Um, we talked a lot about an inventory management system, and I got a good response from Dr. Karstoff today, so it looks like we might be moving on that, which is good. But in addition, we talked about all the supplies that were in the budget, and um, and a lot of the members had asked questions, like, for example, uh, Mrs. Rothkin had asked, you know, are we do zero-based budgeting, what do we, how do we know we need to buy these supplies? And we don't know because we don't have an inventory management system. So these um, questions that were asked, again, every year we seem to do these budget forums. We ask questions, and sometimes we get answers, sometimes we don't. Um, this year we haven't gotten any answers to those questions, and I'm really disappointed that we haven't. So, And in addition to that, we have a labor contract that we still have no idea what's going on with that. Yeah, we're going to pass. You know, we're going to be approving a budget to go to the community, which I find a little disappointing. So that's just want to make that statement. Thank you. Uh, anybody else have any comments, questions on any of these uh, four resolutions? Okay, then we'll move to uh, new business and uh, first item resolution. So we'll need a motion and a second. Uh, resolution 14192, uh, approving the 2014-2015 property tax report card. So, so moved. Second. Uh, any further discussion on this? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Resolution passes. Uh, resolution 14193, approving the proposed 2014-2015 annual school budget and authorizing its submission to the voters on May 20th. Uh, motion, please, and a second. So moved. Second. Any further discussion on this? Um, Ms. Sariva, is this a, um, it is a roll call? A roll call? Is no. Or is this a, or we just, uh, anybody who vote. wants a comment before we do the vote? It doesn't have to be a roll call. Anyone can comment. Okay. okay. All right. So um, uh, does anybody have anything they want to say about uh, not, not necessarily in the way of discussion, but uh, in terms of uh, announcing their vote or anything anybody wants to say. Do you want to go first? I'll go before you. Okay. Yeah. Anybody? I do. Rachel. Yes, I Rachel, go. please. <clears throat> um, thank you. Uh, I will be voting for this budget because it keeps property tax increases to a minimum while maintaining programs and staffing levels. Although I do have grave concerns regarding certain aspects of the budget, specifically on the operation side, I am confident that our superintendent is taking a hard look at some of these issues that have been recently highlighted and that appropriate action will be taken. However, in my opinion, it is incumbent upon the board to implement policies that will create a climate where accountability is expected, required, and delivered to our community. I would like to thank Dr. Karstoff for setting the tone for this budget season with the superintendent's message back in February. Dr. Karstoff's impact on this budget season has been palpably positive, 
It is abundantly clear to me that Dr. Karstoff has done a yeoman's job as our inter interim superintendent, and I would like to publicly commend him for his effort to marshal the district forward in a positive and reflective way. Thank you. Uh, anybody else? Um, I have it. Go ahead. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I'd like to say that I'm also uh, in support of the budget, and um, and I'm actually looking forward to the the new uh, found what was the 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 revenue that we will find as we continue to to uh, you know comb through the uh, aspects of the budget uh, regarding the inventory and the expenditures uh, and regarding the reduction in overtime on on some of the uh, things that uh, were mentioned earlier, um, but the. The, the key thing here for me is that um, these, you know, we have, um, we're at a point now where we are, um, we're, we're going to see some restoration of some of the, um, I believe that we will see some of the restoration of some of the programming that uh, had, had to be reduced over the, uh, in the recent past. And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to see the additional orchestra, the additional art uh, classes, and, and those kinds of things. I'm hoping to see uh, more uh, going towards the social assistance uh, services to the youth in the high school and some of the things that the students have come before us to, that they felt heartfelt um, about. And, and I'm, what I'm also looking forward to is our working uh, as a community together and our uh, taking a, a, a look at not only that our own kids that are sitting around the table in our own homes, are fine and taking the right courses and have the right uh, support at school. But the, the kids in the neighborhood who are part of the community who don't have someone uh, looking after them, that we take a stand and we um, take a look at helping all of the students. And I think that's part of what we might be feeling is missing a little bit uh, these days. But I, I think that once we begin to look at some of the positive things that we can all do uh, in putting this, you know, because the budget is one thing, but our collective working together is, is quite another. And I think that's what's going to take us to the, you know, restore the luster in, in the city. And, and really, um, I'm, I'm hopeful, very hopeful about that going forward. And, uh, you know, I always say, you know, things can't stay bad in terms of the economy forever. Uh, you know, what goes up must come down, but what goes down is going to get a bounce and start in a positive trajectory. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And, um, you know, and, and that's, I think we're, we're headed in the right direction uh, this time. I just, I'm sorry, I just want to echo uh, Mrs. Velkin's comments about Dr. Korosov. I think he's done a great job, and I think I've com uh, complimented him every single meeting, and he continues to deserve it because uh, he's picked up on things that just have been left uh, long unsaid and long undone, and I appreciate the effort that he's been doing in trying to make a difference in this district and actually listening to people in the community and responding to their needs and their issues. So, um, and to some of us on the board that have been raising questions and issues for a number of years, so I appreciate that, Dr. Corstow. Thank you. Um, I just want to comment that, you know, I am supporting the budget, and tonight we're voting on a total amount it's not necessarily each individual line item and i know as we do every year continue to work towards be up until the last minute as we're working towards the presentation of the budget book to the community i know that the administration dr korosoff and the rest of the cabinet Dr. dr massimo Dr. Uh, um, mr quinn as well as um mr um my God, William's sitting right in front of me. Um, we'll be working towards getting each and every one of those line items wherever we can save and adjust. Um, and this board is committed to put back every dollar that we possibly can back into the classroom, back into the students, and continue to make the most efficient budget possible. Um, so I know tonight we are voting on a total number of the budget and we are committed to putting those dollars where they are most needed in whatever savings we can find. And thank you, Dr. Korostov, um, for continuing to lead that charge. So I am supporting this resolution because I know that we are continuing to work toward that goal of putting restorations back where they are most needed as we continue to find savings. Okay, um, I will be voting for this budget. 
Um, we are aware that we have challenges in every budget cycle, particularly since the adoption of the tax levy cap. Uh, but this year, uh, because of the way the cap is calculated, New Rochelle's allowable maximum actually is under the 2% uh, increase that uh, people commonly talk about. Usually with carve-outs and exemptions, uh, one is able, a district is able to go a little above the 2%. In this case, we've actually had to stay below 2%. I am gratified that the current budget preserves all staffing levels from last year after the cuts of recent years, totaling some 200 positions. I am pleased that all programs that really are the essence of New Rochelle, that make the New Rochelle School District what it is, have been able to be retained. And we do take great satisfaction in the fact that sensible class sizes will be maintained uh, in the coming year. We are paying attention to fund balance. And in fact, New Rochelle has, within the last few weeks, been relieved of its designation as a school district under mod moderate fiscal stress. And we're very pleased about that. And there will be more information about that. So we were told at the outset by Superintendent Karstoff that this was not a good news budget, and that certainly is accurate. But finally, the bad news of the last few years seems to be ending. I always refer to our annual budget not as a spending plan, but as an investment plan, an investment that we ask the community to share and to make in every one of our children in the New Rochelle Public Schools. And I believe that this is a very sound investment plan for the future of our children in the coming year, and I am pleased to be voting for this investment plan. Ms. Polo. I'm supporting this budget as I believe, as I sit here today, it offers the best educational opportunities for each and every child in this district. As a young mom 39 years ago, that's what I wanted for my children, and that is what I have strived for in my almost four decade partnership with the Nourishell Public Schools. As a parent, I used to watch board members struggle with budgets, which were closely tied to the ebb and flow of the economy and the political landscape, both state and federal. Nourishell was always on some type of cut, some type of austerity, resulting in a system with little consistency. I certainly never knew what programs would be in store for my kids. That's why I got involved trying to make my child's school just a little better. Traveling through the marvelous route of PTA, Vice President, President of the Units, Council President, with an eye on school budgets, advocacy, and of course, watching what the Board of Education did. When I got elected to this board in 1989, my mission and my passion was and always will be to preserve and enhance the educational opportunities offered to each and every child in this wonderful city. In the past 25 years, I've examined 25 budgets, and I can honestly say that this budget, with a 2.8 increase, is the lowest and does provide for favorable class size and the continuation of programs that are essential for students. I was hoping for a zero increase, as I am now a homeowner and a senior citizen with no children in school. However, that would have meant a discontinuation of the type of services and programs that our parents expect and want and our student needs, and our students need. During the budget meetings, I questioned the lack of inventory and suggested that this be done sooner rather than later. And I am requesting now a timetable so the board can monitor implementation. It's important in addition that stringent controls be upgraded and added to ensure that monies are spent wisely on the education of students and not wasted because of incompetence. Friends, I've been part of the decision-making team that has hired almost everyone working today. I've been part of every district initiative from reorganization to the creation of magnet schools, as well as school community committees, which resulted in the full day kindergarten and the world language program. I love the glory of receiving blue ribbons, going to California for the Magnet Awards, but I was also part of the missteps, which happen sometimes, but thank goodness, were and will be corrected after investigation and discussion. 
I truly believe that working together as a team of dedicated board members and well as committed administrators, we have changed outcomes for so many and in fact have made New Rochelle a city where young families choose to come and enroll their children in outstanding schools. As my 25th year comes to a conclusion this year, I want to thank the members of the community for their support and encouragement throughout my tenure. And Dr. Korostov, I thank you for taking over a very difficult position at a very short notice. And Dr. Massimo and Joe, thank you so much. You really just work together as a team, moving us forward. I want to thank the members of this community again for their support. In the past few weeks, I've received so many calls asking me, what are you doing? Serve just another term. Even my husband said it, probably to get me out of the house or to quiet me down, but some callers even said, serve one year, serve two years, serve three years, whatever. Just help write the next chapter with our new superintendent. I reflected this past week on all of the requests, and I thought long and hard about, for the first time, what I really wanted to do, certainly now that I'm a grandmother. The words of E.B. White say it all. If the world were merely seductive, that would be easy. If it were merely challenging, that would be no problem. But I arise in the morning torn between a desire to improve the world and a desire to enjoy the world. This makes it hard to enjoy the day. I have not lost my passion. I have not lost my energy. I am up for the challenge, and anybody who knows me knows I love a good fight. But I have decided not to run for another term. I hope that you elect someone who indeed has the same passion, optimism, dedication, and understanding of this community so they can take their place, of course asking questions, but as part of the team that undertakes the many challenges that face our Board of Education in the years to come. And once again, I support this budget. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Polo. Uh, we'll have plenty of time oh, absolutely. for your valedictory. And yes, and, uh, you will. And, uh, <laughs> all of that. Um, okay, all in favor of resolution 14293. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. Mr. Hasty. Okay, uh, resolution carries eight to one.